two, three. Testing. One, two, three. Okay, Twitch says I am live. Hello and welcome to the stream. Uh, normally I st uh, stream stuff that is so boring, um, even I don't like it. Uh, today I'm going to be streaming, I got sort of addicted to AI Dungeon, uh, which is a sort of a new game. It's got a lot of hype behind it. And the hype is probably, you know, better than the game itself. I did see someone, I did watch someone uh, streaming this game yesterday. I don't remember their name, unfortunately, but uh, it was a lot of fun. And, um, you know, it does have some problems with uh, confusing characters and so on. But it's usually a lot of fun to watch this, uh, to, to play this game. Well, it was yesterday. I, that's the only time I saw it, saw it being played. Um, and I tried playing it a couple of times on my phone. And um, I wasn't going to stream it originally because it r I thought it only ran on Androids and uh, iOSs. But if you go to this uh, URL here, beta.aidungeon.io, they do have a version that's running on the website. Now, um, from test playing it a little bit last night, uh, the version on the website may be more buggy than, um, than, than the other versions. Um, so I did say this is going to be a meta stream. So I'm basically going to be role-playing myself, which means we'll need a custom because I am not fantasy. I'm no one's fantasy. I'm not a mystery. Hello! <laughs> Hello, Micklebite! Oh, thank you! I am honored to have you in my chat. I, I, wow. And honored that you gave me permission to advertise um, in your, in, in your uh, server. Uh, so Micklebite, M-I-Miglebite actually, M-I-G-L-E-B-Y-T-E. I'll just spell it out here because I can. Um, everyone should go watch her all the time. I am pretty sure that I host her uh, when I'm not streaming. So now let's go ahead and this is this is okay. Enter a prompt. So for example, you are not okay. You, okay. Da -da 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 -da. You are Barry Carter, an Albuquerque-based Twitch streamer. Um. I'm not sure how much detail, detail to put in here. Um, I can make an auto alert when you go live in that channel if you want. Um, oh, I love you, Miglobite. Miglobite. You have a boyfriend, so I, my love is platonic-ish. Um, this is probably one of the streams, I'm the only stream I've ever... Oh, a little heart there. I need to... I, I, I almost forgot how to get um, chat to overlay on my um, OBS on my, on my stream, but somehow I ended up messing it up and it didn't work. Uh, but, uh, yes, uh, this might be the only stream I ever do, uh, there may be one other, that is actually um, somewhat interesting to anyone. Uh, so that's why I wanted to announce it, and I really appreciate the auto alert, but no, I, uh, the, my other streams would bore people to death. I think I've actually killed someone. Certainly, <laughs> oh man, oh, you're killing me. Megalbyte is now hosting me. Uh, I'm overwhelmed. I'm going to cry. Um... But I might actually do the, the crying in the A dungeon uh, after <laughs> that person that you killed. Uh, no, no. So, but but seriously, I, I, I it they're they're coding streams, um, very very dull. I don't watch them, um, and I only broadcast them because um, I just I, I'm trying to spread some some you know badness in the world. So I just figure that does that. I waste someone's bandwidth somewhere. Um, but this is one which I think uh, AI Dungeon, I don't know if, you, if you've played it, if anyone here has played it. Let's see how many, um, yeah, oh, I don't know if you've, uh, I don't know if you've um, played it, Miglobite, but it, it's got a lot of hype going for it, and it's supposed to be able to kind of create, it creates stuff on the fly. So, um, so I'm just wondering what will happen here. Um, if I basically ty type in the, the exact thing I'm doing. Um, let's see. Hello! Oh my god! Um, hello, Dank GH. Oh my god, I have two people in chat. This is a record, I think. Um, and if Dank GH, you should watch his stream too. I'll type his name out too, real quick. Um, I don't even know if he streams, but I, I love him. I love everybody in my chat. Um, um, it creates, basically just sort of creates the story as you go along using artificial intelligence, presumably. Um, it does have some real problems. One of the biggest problems it has is it confuses characters. So you might do one thing to one character and it'll happen to a different character. And it's, it switches gender pronouns sort of randomly as well. 
Um, I have played it a little bit. I watched someone play it last night. Um, and overall, it, oh, cool. Dank made a text adventure project for a game at Quantum College. I'm actually working on a, a text adventure game, and we might have talked about this a little bit, Dank, uh, that will use open street maps, and sort of the, the, the scenario will be the entire world, uh, the real world. And so, you know, if you want to go to a restaurant, you have to go to some place in the world where there's an actual restaurant on the OSM map. Or if you want to, you, you know, uh, start a... F everything would be sort of based on what reality is, although, of course, reality changes all the time. But we would, like, you know, snapshot reality at a given point and say, you're playing on the world the way it was according to OpenStreetMaps on this day. Um, so this has uh, gotten a lot of hype here because it supposedly makes up stuff as you go along. Um... Uh, the stream I watched yesterday got pretty dirty, quote unquote. Um, but um, and and I thought that was just because the streamer, wonderful person by the way, I really wish I remember her name, um, the, because she was being a little bit you know naughty with it. I, I naughty is not a word I should be using. Um, but it turns out I actually did another test where I totally avoided uh, doing anything erotic or naughty. And I'm going to start saying erotic. Naughty sounds just bizarre when I say it. Um, erotic with it. And yet, <laughs> at the same time, it came up with something erotic. So this is a warning to everyone. Um, even I'm not going to do anything erotic because this is my real life and I don't do anything erotic ever. Very sad, really. Um, but it might somehow jump into something erotic. <laughs> Um, Miglobite just said, my poor good Christian uh, years, and uh, um, so I, I realize, of course, this is, no one's going to be offended, but, but it's just sometimes really weird. I don't, it, it sometimes pulls things out of, uh, out of, uh, yeah, I know, it's pretty sad that I'm never erotic. It sometimes just pulls things out of, uh, <laughs> make this game so chaotic, I'm excited. And what's cool is, I didn't, I, I, you know, it's free on um, iOS and Android, you can download it for free, and I did. But I just discovered, I don't, I don't even know how I got here, because this is not advertised. I somehow found this beta AI dungeon.io URL where you can play it on a website. But this version is actually not, this version is more buggy than the versions on the Android and the iOS. So, boy, I'm really, I'm really excited now. Okay, um, I was going to put in some more details. Uh, an Albuquerque-based Twitch streamer, astronomer, now nah, I'm going to say mathematician. Mathematician, what else am I? Applicant based mathematician. You know what? That's the only things I do in my life. Mathematician. Um, you are trying to attract new viewers by by playing AI Dungeon <coughs> uh, on stream. Let's see what this says. Generating story. Here we go. I don't know what's going to come up. Um, okay, well, okay, this I think is just going to repeat what I said. Whoa. Okay. I mean, you can see what's written on the screen. Um, so after it repeated what I said, um, I'm not sure what you're actually talking about, you say. I'm not sure even, even sure if this is a game. It's not a game, the voice says again. It's a computer program that can be used for entertainment purposes. Okay. And by the way, uh, there are a couple of things um, that aren't listed here, but are listed in the real game. Normally, you should start with a verb, but you can also start with a quotation mark if you want to say something. Um, isn't that the same thing, Mysterious Voice? Um, so these the rules are actually in, in they have hints in the uh, AI, in the Android, and iOS version. Um, no, I mean it isn't. I mean it isn't. It doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to you either. It makes no sense to me. Why? What the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? <coughs> oh, man. Uh, I think I've sent this program into an existential crisis. You're right, Miglobite. Uh, so there's a little bit of a kick to you guys. What? What? Oh my god!
You turn your head and see a strange... Ah! Well, he's actually there. Alien-looking being staring at you. He has a face that looks like it was carved out of stone, uh, and his eyes seem to be made of liquid fire. He seems to be watching you intently as if he wants you to understand him. Now, usually when you start the game, it gives you five choices. I chose the custom choice, but the, uh, the aliens, the, the fantasy and sci-fi are, are big things in this. So it's obviously pulling from some of the other timelines that it has. Okay. And what's the first question you always ask him? Where are you from, you know? Like, Lithuania? No, Lithuania is not a natural foreign planet. It's where Miglobite is from. It's, I think it's a country. The creature turns his head and stares at you. His eyes seem to burn into your soul, and they burn with a passion that burns through you. They seem almost as if they could melt your very soul right now. Whoa. Uh, okay, well, I guess we're going to be... We're not going to get erotic, but we are going to ask him, what do you want from me? Uh, my soul is being melted. It's kind of like when Miglobite looks at me. Uh, she's also very pretty. <laughs> the creature turns back towards the screen and he smiles. His smiles... <laughs> well, we're not going to try to get erotic. Uh, oh, God. It seems to be a smile of pure joy, and it is contagious. The smile spreads throughout your entire body, and you feel as you've been given wings. Oh, dear. <laughs> So he went from melting my soul to making me fly. Um, um, and by the way, it's, it's supposed to be much more. Hello, Max Field Supreme. Thank you for joining the stream. This is the only time I'll ever have actual viewers in my stream. Um, and by the way, the game, again, this isn't uh, put right here, but what the game actually likes longer sentences. It's not like those text adventure games. I'm glad M Miglobite, Miglobite, no, Miglobite sent you here. Uh, I'm glad she did. Um, it does, hello, hello. Uh, it does like longer sentences. It is not like the text games um, that, uh, you know, the text adventure games that I used to play in the 80s, where you basically have a verb and a noun. You can, you can go pretty fancy on this thing. Uh, and if you've ever, um, if you've ever um, played AI Dungeon, um, well, it's, it's a very new game, so I don't know how many people have actually played it. But let's see what happens. Uh, this alien creature loves me, so I'm going to, you know, go to Pizza Parlor with him. I don't know if anyone uses the word parlor anymore for pi pizza place, right? You don't say pizza parlor. But that's what we said in my day. Ooh! Wow, not bad. Um... Yeah, short ones are easier to parse. Um, don't do it right now because I don't want to lose any viewers, but afterwards, if you Google it, you'll see that, um, or if you download it on your phone, you'll see that it basically says, don't be afraid to use longer sentences. The longer your sentence is, the more details. For some reason, it, 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 it's not even a more a parser. It uses some very strange techniques. I like coding too, but I'm just an amateur. Any tips you can give me? Um, you know, I would never really recommend anyone watch any of my previous videos, but if you like JavaScript, or if you're into really heavy, you know, hardcore astronomy, you might watch some of my previous videos. Uh, and, and probably the next video I'll do will also be more about JavaScript and, and C... Uh, there's, a, there's a library, astronomy library called Spice that I use, C Spice. And by the way, if you search for it, do not search for the word Spice. Search for C Spice, like this, not Spice, because you will get some really weird results otherwise. Yeah, probably, and I think that's it, too. I mean, again, I'm going off what the, the, the creator said about this, uh, but they actually say don't, you know, and the guy who actually wrote it, and, and believe it or not, he's a Mormon from Brigham Young, Young University, so I have no idea how the sex got into it. I, I, it might be learning from the people who play it, but um, he said he was tired of text adventure games where you could only put in, like, a, a verb and a noun. So he, he actually made this to be sort of the opposite of that, where you could give it fairly detailed stuff, and stuff happens. So this is actually a pretty good, um, so I went to the pizza parlor with the alien being. You walk into the pizza parlor and order a large per pepperoni pizza. The pizza parlor is filled with people, but you don't notice them at, at all. Your mind is completely focused on the alien being in front of you, who appears to be smiling at you the whole time. So this is a good date. This is a good date. You go there. Um, have you read, I have not read Digital Fortress by Dan Brown. I've read a lot of old sci-fi stories, um, uh, a lot of compilations, a lot of nebula words. Uh, stuff, but this really was back in the 80s and 90s. Open up AI Dungeon and make the alien <laughs> play it. <laughs> I already 
sort of started that way. Um, but let's see what I'm trying to, you know, kind of be realistic here. So I've got this, you know, this pretty good, how meta can this go? <laughs> uh, so I've got this kind of nice alien, you know, I, I, I asked, hopefully her, uh, although it's not really been specified, if it is self-aware, we're all in a lot of trouble, because I, because it, it's going to take over, the, the problem must take over the world, and it's using what I'm doing now, you're helping it then, really. Um, okay, so now I guess I've got to, um, I mean, you know, this is this is cool. The alien said yes to going out with me, and now hopefully she. <laughs> this is a cute day, though perhaps we shan't ruin it by sending aliens into crisis. <laughs> hey, I'm enjoying this so far. You know, this is the best date I've had. It, it, you know, I, 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 uh, see, I don't even know if aliens can be male or female, but okay. Uh, uh, not grays. Um. How do you... What's the word for staring? Well, I'll just say... Stare longingly... Into the alien's eyes. Let's see how... See, I said that's not erotic. I want to emphasize that staring longingly into someone's eyes is not technically erotic. Although... God, I hope... And by the way, I didn't write this, so whatever you see is not my responsibility. I mean, what I write is my responsibility. You stare longingly into the alien's eyes and your mind begins to feel fuzzy. Your body feels as though it's been lifted off the ground and your heart begins to beat wildly in your chest. Your mouth begins to water and your fingers begin to tingle all over. Damn. Um, wow. That's just from looking at her. Okay. You know what? I think I gotta go for it. Gotta kiss her. Again, you know, I hope it's a her. Although I'm not homophobic, but... You kiss the alien and you feel as though you've been given wings again. Alright. Um, the, the weird thing here is... The alien was at my house already, and then I took her out. Uh, now I'm going to ask her to come home with me. I mean, next logical step. Oh dear. Oh, this is getting too close to being something I'm trying to avoid. Maybe she'll say no. Oh, maybe I'll ask her what gender she is uh, before we do anything. You ask the alien why he's here, and he smiles at you as if he knows what you're asking for. He! Oh, great, great. He tells you that he's here because he wants to show you something, but that he can only show it in a small amount of time before the countdown ends. Ask. Show me what you will. Uh, okay, this is... this is... digressing kind of badly into, um, presumably this thing is contacting a server somewhere. He asks, and he smiles at you if he knows what you're asking for. He tells you, oh, shoot. Show you something, but he can only show it to a small before the canton. Okay, sometimes it gets stuck in this loop. Um, it's not erotic yet. We, kissing is not erotic. I, I mean, it's not crossing the line. Uh, <laughs> um, now sometimes it, this happens with the web version. Um, I think you can get around it by doing a revert. Revert should undo, uh, but if it's happened twice, it might not be okay, uh, something. But he can only show it in a small amount of time before the countdown ends. Um, I'm going to try, instead of doing a quote, go along with Alien. If this repeats again, it might be broken. Oh, actually, that might, that looks like it's going to do something else. By the way, if you die in this game, you can come back. You can wake up. You nod eagerly, and the alien takes a seat in the chair across from you, next to a large TV screen that shows an endless stream of static images of explosions, explosions, explosions. I don't know what this is about. <laughs> um, well, we are at a pizza parlor, so I sh shouldn't... Do Why are we looking at explosions? Um, but, I mean, is that the alien who's doing that, or is that just the... Uh Let's just ask why we're looking at explosions. I, I mean, I don't know if he did it, or that's just what the TVs... If he, like, alien hacked into it or whatever. Can I just say you're really good at dictating what you're doing and what you're thinking? It really shows that you code on stream, if that makes sense. Ah, uh, Miglobite, you're killing me. I'm already madly in love with you. I mean, you don't have to be... You didn't have to be so nice. I would have liked you anyway. It was the name of a really old song, by the way. Um, because I'm a machine. 
I'm a machine that can see the future. Okay, good. This is like Terminator. I don't understand. It's simple. It's all there for you in the images. What are we looking at? We're looking at the future. Oh, jeez. Apocalyptic much? Um, okay. Uh, how can we prevent this from... I don't know why. We prevent this from happening. God damn you, alien. I just want some pizza. Oh, crap. That's not good. Um, well, you know what? I'm not even, I'm just going to do it. And if this happens again, we might have hit like a bug in the pro. There's quite a few bugs in this program, unfortunately. Um, sometimes you can get around them. Sometimes you can't. Undefined is a particularly bad one. Oh, good. The alien tells you you will save Earth by saving yourself. He tells you that the machines are able to take care of the rest. He says that you will live forever. On this planet, it will cost a lot of money. Okay, great. Apparently, they have some sort of economic... How much money do you need to save me? And sometimes if you give them names, it, they, they're more stable than if you don't. But, so I maybe need to give them a name at some point. He looks around and then points to a huge metal box on the table. The box is covered with wires and tubes, and it looks like it exploded in a What a pizza parlor! The alien says the machine is called a time machine. Um, you know, I'm, I might. I'm trying to give it longer responses. Um, let's see, but, but I'm, I'm also trying to sort of keep it within story. Okay, so we've got a bomb here that's, that's a time machine. Um, oh, well. You know you have to. You know that if you had a time machine in front of you. Um, but if you have a suggestion for a multi-line response, I'll, I, I can cut and paste it in. Activate time machine. The only hands you the time machine and you press the button. A bright light shines out of the device and you find yourself standing in front of a large room. A large computer screen sits on one wall which shows several screens. On each screen are pictures of various scenes. That's not very descriptive. Look at scenes on computer I, and I'm still used to the old um, you know the old uh, Scott Adams types of games where it's you, you, you have to keep your sentences short so I'm kind of adapting to making longer sentences here look at scenes on computer screen I hope it'll give me some more detail you look through the pictures in a scene of the pa see a scene of the past a man in a lab coat stands in front of several people who are all dressed in similar clothing. They have various instruments and devices attached to them, and they're moving about very quickly. Uh, I have not played Hunt the Wumpus. I thought that was a really... Oh! 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 You mean... I've played Zork, and I don't know if you know who Scott Adams is, but Scott Adams... Um, and I actually happened to have exchanged email with Scott Adams, I even though he was like a celebrity to me uh, earlier, but... Um, yeah, 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 Zork, yes, very much Zork. Zork, Adventureland, um, Pirate's Cove, um, all this good stuff. I think I even have a, um, I think I even have something in my GitHub about trying to do, like, uh, maps of, um, not like, uh, not like, uh, you know, physical maps, but like, uh, if you do this action, this will happen, kind of, uh, di directed graphs of, uh, Scott Adam Adventure Games, I think, but I don't remember for sure. Okay, uh, so this is uh, from the past. That's uh, not very interesting. Now look, because, you know, that already happened. So look at scenes from the future of Earth. Well, from the future. We're, we're not going to get too crazy yet. What's going on in the future, man? What's going to be happening to our planet? So this isn't really a time machine. It's like a time viewer. I mean, you can't really travel anywhere. You look at the picture and see another scene. This one is set in the present day. There's another man wearing the same lab coat with different clothes. Um, interesting. Look at man's laboratory. What do you call someone who works in a laboratory? Not an assistant. Well, laboratory man's clothes. Let's see what's different about them. By the way, Miglobite, thank you again for saying nice things about my voice. Um, I think my voice sucks. It's, it's really kind of high. 
You turn to the right and you find yourself in an wait wait what I, I okay in an office building on the ground floor. You can see several doors, each with an employee number written on them. One door has an employee number of 001, while another employee has an employee number of 010. Now, I am smart enough to realize this is almost definitely binary. Um, so th this is this is these are employees one and two, and I'm going to I think the number with the uh, the higher number should be enter door marked employee number two, which is a one oh in binary. Let's see what happens now? I don't know actually. So this is kind of cool. And presumably it's making up stuff now. I mean it's using its vast intelligence to. Uh, put together the next scene. You walk into the room, whoa! Well, I don't even mean, I mean your voice, per se, though I also don't think anything was wrong with it. Okay, good, because it's not just purely diction, the way that you're able to talk through problems and thought process. Maybe it's just because I'm surrounded by a lot of college students, but I know a lot of people who can't do that. Ah! You flatter me, Miglabite. I... Ah, uh, well... I, I don't know. I mean don't ever watch any of my coding streams, but if you did, you'll notice, uh, you know, my favorite debugging statement is the print statement, pretty much. Um, and I always say, you know, and, and a lot of people don't seem to say, what's wrong with this code? And the first thing I ask them is, well, basically, if a variable changes in a way you don't want it to change, you know, put, you know, do a binary search to figure out where that change occurs, and you'll narrow it down to the exact line. And there's nothing deep about that. That's just kind of a, sort of a basic debugging technique, is if, a, you know, so a variable doesn't, isn't equal to what you want, figure out, and it was equal to what you want and stopped working, figure out where that change occurred. You walk into the room and you find yourself in a large desk with several buttons and dials on it, as well as a computer monitor hanging abo ab above it, showing numerous screens and images, some of which you can't make out due to the lighting being poor in this room. Um, okay, technically, um, monitors broadcast light. It shouldn't matter what the ambient light looks like, but whatever, I'll go with it. Um, Randomly press several buttons to see what happens. And this is ex literally what I would do. I'm very excited. You press the first few <laughs> buttons to try to figure out what they do. Pressing the button labeled 2 causes a picture to appear in the monitor sh showing two people sitting at a desk together with two other figures standing behind them and looking at something on their computer screens or phones. Hmm. Okay, well. Let's go, let's go Douglas Adams here. Uh, yeah, I totally understand, Miglobite. Thank you for coming. Uh, go enjoy yourself with Emma. Emma is Miglobite's niece who will be taking over the stream from Miglobite very soon, sooner than she thinks. Have an awesome stream and a very Merry Christmas. Thank you, Miglobite, you too. Uh, love you in every conceivable uh, way. And th hello to the other people. Dank GH, thank you for being here. And one other person who hasn't said anything, so I won't name their name. <laughs> Emma already owns the place. I totally believe it. I totally believe it. If you do decide to stream again, let us know. Okay, if I ever decide to stream anything interesting again, let you know. Um, I probably won't. There's, I try not to announce the other streams because I'm, I'm ashamed of them. At one point, I thought about just using it like a, as a real uh, sort of rubber duck and just talk, and just recording it for myself, but not doing anything with it. But thank you for visiting Miglobite. I really appreciate your being here, the people you brought in, and you as a general person. And I'm starting to gain an appreciation for the nation of Lithuania, which I, I'm pretty sure didn't exist after World War II, but whatever. Um, okay, pressing the button labeled 3. So clearly, I pressed the button labeled 42, and it, and it, it didn't it somehow made me press the button three. Because the picture appeared in the monitor showing three Lithuania, all other countries, better than all other countries, obviously, obviously. Clearly, uh, uh, and you know, we, we have to eject our president. Lithuania, I don't know who the president is, but I'm sure he's doing pretty good. Uh, pressing the button labeled three causes a picture to appear showing three figures. Okay, so the two was two figures uh, at a desk together with three more figures behind them looking at something on their computer. Um, Free pressing the button labeled, and this is another weird thing I've noticed about this, and this actually happens in the um, Android and iOS version. Well, the Android version, at least, I don't have iOS. It looks like it wants to say more, and it just gets cut off at a certain number of letters, uh, and sometimes it'll be in the middle of a sentence. Um, 
so this is this is kind of um, it's kind of weird. Okay, well, I guess I've got to press button four. I mean, but if this is gets too boring, I'm going to do something else completely. And the game can change very quickly if you do something that's totally tangential to what's uh, what's being done. Pressing the button labeled five. Okay, well, causes a picture showing four figures with four. Okay, so now we we have like well. Five is the fourth prime number. Oh, okay. I'm getting kind of sick to death of this, so we're not going to press any more buttons. Um, look around the office. Usually in an adventure game, you can say look, and it'll just tell you the sort of basic description. Here, it's going to actually have to create the description, so it might be different. The office can change. Um, press the what? No, no. Question seven. Cause the picture. Okay. Oh, uh, I think I'm stuck in a loop here. Leave the office. I've never been stuck in this kind of weird loop that does integers. You walk out of the room and you find yourself back outside. The sun is shining down and you can hear birds chirping. Um, oh, you know what? The whole goal of this was to stream and I haven't streamed, I, I mean, I haven't streamed inside the stream. So now, because that alien guy went, went out with me, um, go home and I, my computer's always on. Lo I'm always logged in too. Um, go home and start virtual machine on computer. I'm not doing this on a virtual machine, but most of my streams are on a virtual machine. Um, so let's see what's going on here. Um, You walk into your house and you turn your computer off. No, I don't want to turn it off. I want to turn it on. Then you open up your virtual machine. That's surreal. And you start it up. So apparently, it seems to think that my real computer doesn't run. The virtual machine is something separate from my real computer. The screen shows a black screen, but you can still make out text. It says, Welcome to Virtual Boy. Wow. I'm playing a virtual game inside of a virtual game. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm going to break this thing's stack, I think. Oh, well, we got to play Virtual Boy, you know. Uh, our plans have been, when an alien shows up, you got to talk to him. When there's a game, the screen starts to change, a black and white image of you appears. It's you in your bedroom. Oh, well, well, well. It's you in your bedroom, in your underwear, holding a Game Boy. The Game Boy is now turned towards you. Well... That's just freaking creepy. Get dressed in Virtual Boy game. This, this is just freaking creepy now. Let's see what happens. You turn the Game Boy around and put it back in your what pocket? Then and put it back in your pocket. Then you, oh. You turn the Game Boy around and put it back in your pocket. Then you turn it around and put it back in your pocket. Then you turn it around and put it back in your pocket. Then you turn around and put it back in your pocket. Aside from the fact that I'm wearing underwear that doesn't have pockets, um, this is uh, somewhat redundant. I think I've got OCD. Um, so exit out of Virtual Boy game. And, well, yeah, let's start streaming to Twitch. Because uh, I just kind of want to jump the scene a little bit, because I think the the um, the Virtual Boy and I'm playing a Game Boy in the Virtual Boy in AI Dungeon, so boy, that that was we, we were pretty nested in there. You exit out of the program and you see that you're streaming to Twitch TV and knows what Twitch is. The stream is currently going through the standard Twitch chat, but you can see there are already people watching. There are also other people watching you right now. Oh, spooky. Um, in the chat, and ask them to suggest things I should do. Here's a bad idea. So let's see what this does. You enter the chat and type, hey guys, I'm doing a stream tonight. <laughs> oh man. I'm going to be playing a bunch of games that are really fun to play. I'd love for you guys to suggest some games that would be fun to play. Um, that's not what I said, but okay. Let's listen for game suggestions. And it's listening here is actually reading. So I'll say read game suggestions from chat. 
Now, if you guys want, if anyone's still here and wants to, I, I think there are people still here. If you want to sort of give me um, suggestions as to what I should type into this thing, you read. Oh, okay. Got to be honest. I've still been looking while peeling potatoes. <laughs> this is just incredibly meta. <laughs> yeah, it is. I was three levels deep at one point. <laughs> Uh, you read the suggestions that the other viewers have made for games to play, as well as the suggestions that you yourself have made yourself. Can you tell me what one of them is? Um. And by the way, I'm also asking you guys this question. Um. So, if you want me to say something to him that's somewhat within character, I'll do it. How sure are you this is Ren and Jenner and you're not being watched right now? Oh, I don't know. I mean, when they said the alien was there, I looked around and I thought I saw something. So this this could just be it. Um, I didn't type that. What's the name of this guy? A user named Kane. Ask them to follow it. Of course! Oh my god, you're right. I've broken the first rule of Twitch streaming. You have to say fo like, follow, subscribe, uh, donate, bits, Cheer. There's, there's just a bunch of things that you're supposed to tell your everyone to do, uh, even though I'm not an affiliate. So you can't really do it, but in my pretend channel you can. You type, what's the name of this guy? A user named Kane has suggested that I call him John. He says that I should also call him a lot of other names, <laughs> but he thinks the name is good enough for now. Kane, please remember to like, and sub which is actually something you do with the YouTube, but you know, subscribe. Um, follow, cheer, and just generally spend your life watching my channel. Okay. So, uh, why does he want me to call him other than, this is just weird. Um, oh good, at least, whoa, 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 have you ever heard of Welcome to Night Vale podcast. This is giving me a lot of those vibes. It's basically a fantasy radio show that takes place in a mysterious town. Wow, that sounds like fun. Okay, so apparently he doesn't know what I... Kane, please remember to like, follow, cheer, follow, 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 follow. <laughs> wow. A user named Drake. Wait a minute. Oh, Drake was actually in also a name in the other uh, the stream I watched yesterday has suggested that I call him a lot of other names as well. He says the name is good enough for now. Check the chat to see how many viewers I currently have. And and I'm, I'm doing that here too. If the number is the same, I'm going to freak out. So there are five viewers here. Oh, good. Okay, cool. There are currently 1,832 viewers right now. You type, well, I don't know why I typed that number for him, but um, a user named Zach has suggested that I call him a lot of other names as well. He says the name is good enough for now. Okay, this is, this might be actually getting stuck in some sort of a loop. Um, okay. Okay, I promise no erotica, but oh... This might lead to a very bad path. Ask viewers if they want to see my feet. I don't know why. Why they'd want to. This this hopefully doesn't go anywhere. That I that <laughs> into a dark place. There are currently six. Oh, now wow, I got two hundred more. Oh, no, I lost two hundred. A username Cyrus is such. Oh, thank you, Dark Dank GH for hosting. Thank you, thank you. A user named Cyrus has suggested that I show my feet a lot more often. He says the name is good enough for now. Okay, I think we're being stuck in a loop. Kind of, although that was kind of creepy about my feet. Um, remind people that I have a Snapchat. Everyone, I don't really, but an Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and what else? The splendid feet are clearly a path to success. Within a game, within a game, within a stream. I'm supposed to be a guy, although I don't think it's ever specified that I am a guy. Um, 
And you can look at your genitals in this game, and I did that last night, and not on stream. Um, it's bizarre. I, I can't even repeat it here, but... Um, and other social media... Let's just see what that does. Remind people that I... He's literally playing a game where he's in a game in a stream. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> there are okay, so now you type, okay, username Jade... Okay, okay. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. Jade has suggested that I post a picture of myself on Instagram or Snapchat or whatever. She says the name... I don't know what that name is good enough for, for now. Maybe she's talking about her name. Um, okay. Post picture of myself doing duck face on Instagram and tell chat about it. Okay, can I see your feet? Uh, I don't know in what level of depth you're asking that. Oh, you mean ask my streamers whether I can see their feet. Ask my w viewers. Uh, there are currently 8.9 million subscribers, of, so take that, Miglobite. <laughs> That's a big number. Uh, there are also 8.9 million followers on Twitter. Well, that's what you get for posting a duck face picture. Um, ask... Oh, and I meant to say Discord, too, didn't I? Ask viewers to send me pictures of their feet on Discord. This, this could just be so bad. <laughs> this, 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 this isn't 64, and you can't own people like this anymore. <laughs> there are currently, okay, and followers, that's a big number. There are also, okay, so this is, something's going wrong here. This is not, this is kind of getting stuck in a loop. Um, okay. And I'll, I'll point it up a bit, see... Suggestive, overreaching is suggestive, but it doesn't actually cross the line to being erotic. Let's see what happens. And if it keeps doing this, now oh shoot. Um, yeah, I think it's stuck in this sort of little loop here. Um, my Discord server, and ask everyone there how old they are. Yeah, that should be fine. And I didn't mention Discord before, so that might... You're losing... I know I did! I went from 8.9 million to 2,000. There's no one <laughs> under 18 here. The average age of the room is <laughs> Somewhere around 19 to 20. Well, that's a very tight range there. Um... Ah... <sighs> Ask people in my Discord server to upload pictures of their feet. This this could be. Thank goodness that, <laughs> that they clarified. Um, the only person who's uploaded anything so far is you. So you go to the Discord server and start asking people to upload pictures of their feet for me to post on the stream. Go oh man! It takes a few minutes, but you get the results <laughs> you're looking for. Okay. Um, Comment on people's feet pictures in my stream, in my Twitch stream. So I'm on Discord and Twitch at the same time. Uh, I probably should have said what I said about them, but I'm just going to comment on them in general. You comment back to the streamer that you've been wa that you've been waiting for. The streamer replies with an image of his own foot. This causes you to laugh out loud. Everyone in the room joins as well. It looks like this is going to be an awesome day. <laughs> ah. Oh, my mind! Um... <laughs> Miglobite sent feats picks for all the men and I will, too. <laughs> now, now. Um... By the way, if you play this on Android, or, um... It'll actually save your game, uh, to a URL, so you can watch it later. So I, I, I might... I won't do it on this stream, but I might later show you a g game where I did, uh, nothing at all erotic, and suddenly it became erotic. Um... What the... F what well, okay, fine, what do you want to see? Okay, you know, we've, we've done the foot fetish thing. Um, I can't say naked, I mean, I can, but it's going to go just, like, it's going to go bad. The app is just a dungeon, too, right? 
I think, yeah, I think they're using the word dungeon in the more, like, D&D sense of the word dungeon. Dungeons and Dragons. Um, well, it's an awesome day because some guy showed me his feet and... They call it, well, you know, maybe because it's like a funny foot picture. Uh, <laughs> no, no, it's, it's good. I, I mean, I think we, we've, we've exhausted... We've run out the feet as a terrible dad pun there. Run out the feet puns here. Okay... Uh, Okay, um, so what can I do with my Twitch streamers? Uh, I mean, I've already asked them to do all the stuff you have to, Twitch streamers are supposed to do. Oh, this is going to piss you off. Introduce my nephew, Emmett, to the stream. Haha, that's not a ripoff at all. Oh, except Emma's your sister. I keep forgetting that. Well, Emmett's my nephew. You introduce your nephew, Emmett, to the audience. Everyone loves him. But you don't think he knows what to say yet. He just says hi. Motherfucker. That that is like psych. That is damn close to what actually happened. Oh. That that got too real, man. <laughs> man. Damn. This is borderline creepy. The games know how these things work. I mean, that just really 99% Emma there. Okay. Um. I don't even want to do this. Ask my Twitch chat users what they think of Emmett. This, this, this. If they ask him to show his feet, I'm. I'm gonna kill them. I'm gonna hunt them down and kill them. The first thing that comes to mind is that he looks a little like a little kid. He doesn't look like he knows what the hell he wants to say, but it seems like he wants to say something, but can't quite figure out how. What do you do? I don't know, Miglobite, what do you do? He's already said hi to the viewers. Um Help me. Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> I'm literally inside your life right now. Uh... <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, let's do that. This is the full Megalobite experience. No, 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 he's got to stay on stream. I mean, this is... Emmett is really you-know-who. Uh, ask Emmett if he wants to dance on stream with me for the viewers. You quickly get a response from the chat which consists of the following. I want to dance with you. A lot of their people agree with you. I want you to not dance with anyone else. A lot of people disagree with this. Okay, so the, they... By the way, some of them have a little bit of interpretation on what they say because they're, they're not great with pronouns. Um, oh, okay, well... Well, if you, if you suggest that, Miglobite, I must follow. Um, take Emmett off stream, bring him downstairs, turn on the television, and let him watch Peppa Hog. Well, Miglobite is, I was going to say Miglobite is the streamer, but, because <laughs> I'm so used to saying that, but of course I'm the streamer. So surreal. But to me, Miglobite is and always will be the streamer, like capital T. Okay, you take Emmett off the live video and bring him downstairs. He looks at you in disbelief as you tell him that you'll be taking him home. So he doesn't live with me, apparently. Well, obviously, he's my nephew. He then asks you why you're taking him home, and you explain that you have a surprise for him. Yeah, this this could be very, very bad. So apparently the television thing didn't do anything for him. Um, uh, okay. Creepy Uncle Barry. Tell Emmett... Oh, I actually didn't capitalize his name properly. You're THE streamer. Hell yeah, you are. Tell Emmett that he can stay if he promises to be quiet and not disrupt the Twitch stream. Hello there! Thank you for the Amazon Prime. Hey Barry, you stream. Yes, I do. Usually I stream coding, that's very boring. Today uh, I just stream. I'm just seeing what AI Dungeon's gonna take me. 
and I'm meta, I'm inside the stream, in the stream. You tell Emmett that you'll be taking the rest of the day off and you won't be able to take any more questions. He agrees and thanks you. He then goes upstairs and tells his mom that she should buy oh, a new dress for her wedding tomorrow. <laughs> Man. Uh, no, I was telling him he should take the rest of the day off. Apparently, though, he... Okay. So, congrats to your mom. Well, yeah, but... See, if, if she's his mom... Okay, so is, is she my sis... Okay, so is she my sister or my sister-in-law? Uh, you know what? She's going to be my sister. It's never too late to get back out there. Okay. Um, I don't really want to take my sister we we shopping for wedding clothes. Yeah, she should have been my brother, like yours is your, your sister. I just keep thinking she's your niece. Um, wow. Well, I think I got rid of the flow here. Offer to take my sister, Emmett's mother. I wonder if it'll, it'll make that connection that these are the same person. Shopping for wedding dresses. Tomorrow? Tomorrow? Really? What kind of woman waits to the last minute to shop for wedding dresses? Um, shopping for wedding dresses so she can look pretty when she gets married tomorrow. Big, big sentences here. Yes, I'm actually type. The stuff that you see me type is what I type. The stuff that's coming back is from the game. Okay, you offer your sister M. Oh, okay, so Emma's mother's named Emily. So that's that's kind of <laughs> sort of an M thing going. And her mother Julie. Uh, sh wait. And her well, if she's my sister. That's my mother too. Unless she's like a stepsister or something. A shopping trip. They both seem very happy about the idea. You also mentioned that you'll be bringing some of your other family members as well. They all seem very excited about the idea too. So apparently... Is my stream still running? Hang on. Um, check to see if my stream is still running. And if so, uh, make it a mobile stream. And it likes longer sentences, it says. So let's see what this does. Um, your live stream is still running, but you decided it would be better if it was a mobile one. It's nice. You check the time and see it's almost midnight. What the hell? <laughs> you decided it would be best to make the live stream a mobile one. Well, time certainly uh, goes fast. I guess I'm in, I mean, in this city, the real city, I'm in Albuquerque, nothing's open at midnight. Um, but apparently we're going to go shopping for wedding dresses in the middle of the night in this fictional city that I live in. You're a bad uncle letting up. Yeah, I am. But you know what? Uh, hey, 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 hey. His mom was right there. He went up to talk to his mom. His mom is responsible. She, she's the one who needs the wedding dress. You know, I'm just... He's at my house, yes. And his mom's at my house, but I don't make the... I mean, he, I don't make the rules for him. So I'm, I'm, I'm in the clear here. Go on a midnight shopping spree. Uh, go on a midnight mobile streaming shopping... <laughs> Mobile stream shopping spree with um, many members of my family to find a wedding dress for my sister who will be getting married. Who is she getting married to? Um, to me, a mobile live... I don't really know. A mobile live stream to me is... Um, like on, on your phone or something. But I mean, we're, we're going we're going to be walking around in this stream inside of a stream. Um, tomorrow, uh, at some point we're going to figure out something about her husband, but go to Midnight Mumbles. So this is stuff I typed in. For my sister, we're getting a married tomorrow. Okay, and now this is what it's going to come back with. And it's supposedly all magic AI and stuff. Um, you want a midnight mobile live stream shopping spree with many members of your family. It's a success and you find a wedding dress for your sister. She looks absolutely stunning in the dress. She says it's the best birthday present ever and thanks you again. Wow, so she's getting married on the day after her birthday. That's not actually too uncommon. I can live with that. Okay, so, um, wow, okay, awesome. Um, so what do we think? Is the guy she's going to marry good enough for her, not good enough for her? Am I going to object to the wedding? Are we going to go to sleep now? So I'm, I'm, I'll take suggestions from the chat. Hang on. Sorry. I'll take suggestions from you. Um, 
take suggestions from Twitch stream chat as to what to do next. <laughs> and also from you, my actual Twitch stream chat. God, that's really weird. You suggest several things. No, I don't suggest two of them. They all seem to how you should handle things next. Some of them are good ideas, some are bad ideas. And some are just plain weird. Okay, it would be nice if you told me what some of them were. Um, okay, let's not ask him to chat. And yet, this is real. This is exactly what would happen. Um, rest up for my sister's wedding. And wake the next morning. Shower, brush. I just took Kelly out. When well, it was tomorrow, but I think, yeah, it's it's past midnight, so maybe it's the tomorrow of tomorrow. But yeah, I don't know why she waited till the last minute to get dressed. That's very irresponsible of her. Um, I don't know who Kaylee is, but hi, Kaylee. I hope he, he is... Uh, this, there's, there's nothing dark about this yet, but it can turn very quickly. Um, and wake the next morning... This is literally, literally my freaking life. Um, and then pick up my sister to drive her to her wedding. Twitch streaming all the while. Because damn it, this is going to be meta, even if it kills me. Okay, so I'm guessing Kaylee is some sort of animal, maybe? Well, I shouldn't, yeah, we shouldn't judge her, but if she's going to ask me to get her, a, you know, help her find a wedding dress, I guess she didn't really ask me, though. She just needed to get one. Um, all right. You decide to rest up for the day of the wedding. After you get back from your rest, you brush your teeth and shower. Then you get dressed in the same... Why? Why am I wearing the same clothes as before? That's stupid. Then you drive your sister to a wedding in the car. I'm not going to watch my sister get married in, like... Um... Well, maybe this is an informal wedding. Oh, God. Um... Well, I could put on new clothes, but and if they'd left me in my house, I would have done that. But we're at the wedding now. If I drive back, put on new clothes, and come back, it might be too late. Um, and apparently our father is dead, because I'm going to walk her down the aisle now. Walk my sister down the aisle, since our father, Jebediah, uh, passed away many years ago. Let's see what the frick this does. Crested Gecko. Oh, cool. Does he try to sell insurance? Because if he does, he's got a bad one. <laughs> in chat for Jebediah. He decided to walk down the aisle to our... F what? Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, my God. He said to walk down the aisle to our father Jebediah's deathbed. Your brother David is here to help you walk down the aisle. This is a very dark ceremony. <laughs> Man, wait a minute, his death bed, I <laughs> thought he was already dead. Yeah, okay, okay, so we can we can adapt. Um, uh, but I say he was dead, right? Um, um, well, passed away, okay, so okay, he's not dead yet. So he wants to see his daughter get married again, apparently, because she already had a kid, or she was just, like, loose. Um... Okay, so we're, we're, we're cool, we're cool, we're cool. Um, wait with my father, wait with, yeah, okay, my father, my brother David, my brother, and my sister for the groom to arrive. You know where this is going. You can, you can literally see where this is going to go. Man, he's trying to sell me insurance yet. Those advertisements are in the USA only as far as I can tell. Um, after walking down with, with your family, you wait with them until the groom arrives at the church where your father is waiting with his wife and children, which would be my mom and partly me. The groom arrives at the church where your father is waiting with his wife and children. Uh, I know, what the hell's going on? I, I apparently got really old all of a sudden. Okay. Um, I was going to cry at the wedding, but I'm going to do something that's more real. Pretend to cry as my sister and her fiancé are joined in holy matrimony. 
because I really couldn't cry about it. But I'm going to pretend to cry. I'm a nice guy. Um, <laughs> let's see what else does. You pretend to cry as you watch your brother David. Whoa! My God. You pretend to cry as you watch your brother David and his fiance join in holy matrimony together. This is effed up. This is freaking effed up. Dude, my brother just married my sister. And your dad's so happy, he starts, man, dancing too. The bride and groom are married in front of you by a priest who has been... Well, there's only one freaking family now, isn't there? Oh. Oh. This is freaking... I hope it's like a Brady Bunch situation where they're not related. Oh. This is actually creeping me out in real life. I mean, that... 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 That's just weird. Uh... Um... This, this could go somewhere really bad. Congratulate the happy couple and ask for the first dance with my girlfriend. I just got a girlfriend, by the way, in case you didn't know. Uh, Naomi. Because I can't dance with my mom. She's going to dance with the dad. I can't dance with the bride. She's going to dance with the groom. I've got to take the first dance with someone else. So I've invented a girlfriend. You congratulate the happy couple on their marriage, but you don't have any choice dance partners yet. Naomi is a pretty girl who is currently dancing with another girl named Jessica. The two girls are very cute together, but you're not sure how you feel about that situation yet. God damn it! My ima- <laughs> my, <laughs> my imaginary girlfriend's a lesbian. This is insane. <laughs> I mean, if they hadn't added that line about, you know, how you feel about it, I thought maybe there was two girls dancing together for fun. And this is amazing. This is like too much like my real life. <sighs> I said she was my girlfriend and, you know, maybe a girl who's a friend, I guess. And, and God damn it, just like in real life, I can't have a girlfriend. She's got to be someone I've got to pursue and maybe not even pursue because she might be a lesbian. Well, got to do it. Ask Naomi, maybe ask Jessica to dance with me. Dance with me. Ooh, let me see what that does. I want to be your partner, can't you see? The music starting. I don't know the rest of it. Um, let's see if that freaks Naomi out. You asked me to dance with you since she seems like a nice girl, but you're not sure if she'll be interested in you. She seems like a nice girl, but you're not sure if she'll be interested in you. That's why I freaking asked her to dance now, isn't it? Uh, that her hair smells lovely. This is... No, smells lovely, smells lovely. Yeah, that's unfortunately a problem. And it also gets cut off sometimes. Uh, it's not a perfect day, I thank God. I mean, if it were, we'd be in real trouble. Um, okay. I swear to God, this is my life tomorrow. Slow dancing is a very intimate thing to do, so you slow dance for a while as Naomi tells you that her hair smells lovely. <laughs> okay, I am with you. Eventually you tell Naomi that she has beautiful hair and uh, that it smells lovely. Wait, so Naomi has to tell me that and then I have to repeat it back to her. Okay. Ask Naomi. Oh, shoot, I said I was going to make this erotic. Okay, we, we can still do this. She wants to slip away somewhere quietly so we can talk privately. No erotica yet. I know. She tells you what to say. I, I would like to have a girlfriend who does that, though. Compliment me in this way. It would be a hell of a lot easier than trying to figure out what parts she wants to be complimented on. Wait, 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 wait. As Naomi tells you that, well, okay. Oh! The two of you, ooh! Hubba hubba. Okay. So it ends very, so you know, so it's like she wants to slip away somewhere quietly so we can talk privately. She, yeah, she, she does wear the pants in this family. After a few minutes of conversations, the two of you leave the church and head back home. 
I don't know if it's her home or my home, but you know, let's work this out. Um, offer Naomi some snacks. I'm working this girl here. This is actually how I work girls. I mean, this is literally my life right now. Although most, they don't usually come home with me. Naomi seems to be at hungry, so after telling her that she can have, I tell her that she can have some snacks. Ooh, the two of you head back home. Naomi seems to be a bit hungry, so after telling you, okay, head back home. Um, okay, so shall we, shall we put moves, shall we put the moves on Naomi? Um, and tell her how lovely she looks. Now, for any of you who are um, actually paying attention to this, because I was actually on a stream yesterday, where uh, one of my streams yesterday mentioned it, there's actually a lunar eclipse, uh, I think, tomo uh, two days from now, which means the moon is new and there would not be any moonlight. But in this alternate world, maybe there is. There might not be. They might just tell me that there isn't any. Um, so let's see what this does to us. You put your arm around Nomi's back and tell her how lovely it is in the mo her back. The two of you continue to walk home together. I could have sworn we made it. Uh, head back home and pray and go to bed like a good Christian couple. Um, okay, so I've got to back around her. Pull Naomi close to me. Gaze deeply into her eyes. Gaze is the word I was looking for earlier. Uh, into her eyes. And then slowly, gently, start... Ooh. I'm still not erotic. Because it's not... We, there's no sex. It's kissing. Kissing is, is still okay. So I'm still above my erotic line. That's just not... I don't want to say that. Okay. You pull Naomi close to you and stare deeply into your girlfriend's eyes. Yay! She's my girlfriend now. Then slowly, gently start to kiss your girlfriend. Naomi seems to enjoy this a lot more than the music did. Eventually, the pair of you are both sitting on the couch watching TV. What the hell? Well, she's my girlfriend. That's awesome. But apparently, after we kiss, we just... <laughs> we've become an old couple already. Yeah, let's go on the couch to watch TV. Okay, now you gotta be careful, because I said I wasn't gonna make this erotic, so I can't really touch her or anything while we're watching TV. <sighs> what can we do? Um... I know, exactly! We've gone from kissing erotically, or not erotically, and then, but she's now a girlfriend. Yes, thank you, I will. Ask Naomi what her favorite TV show is. And then about like a hundred channels in real life. Um, so we could probably flip to, we could probably find a recording of it or something. I mean, on-demand TV. You ask Naomi what's favorite TV show, and does Naomi's answer? My mommy watches it. Ooh. Oh my god! I'm sorry, I am actually freaked out. So this... <laughs> so... <laughs> so... <laughs> so... <laughs> my is my niece! And I just made out with her. Although in this family, that might not be a bad thing. I know, seriously, what the... <laughs> Sorry for me. I'm not gonna be mean to someone else, but that was. Uh, oh man. Uh. Okay, so we can see exactly what the end of the world, the hands of AI, would look like. I'm gonna pretend like I didn't know. Why am I asking this question? There's no good answer to this. And then proceed to give a big hug. This makes Naomi smile and hug you back. The pair of you continue to hold each other for a while until the sun sets. The oh, motherfucker. The pair of you sleep in the same bed tonight. not to expose too much of my private life. Um, I'm sort of into some of this kinky stuff, but this 
non-erotic program has really freaked me out. Okay. Look up, before we go to bed, genealogy and see if Naomi and I are related. Dude, I made that with my freaking niece, I think. You look at family genealogy on the internet and see that I am not related to any family in the house. This makes you happy. You wonder if this means your girlfriend is related too, or maybe it means your parents are related too. Yeah, I, I, I'm guessing in this family my parents probably are related, but at least I'm not related to Naomi. Um, okay. Yeah, well, I mean, they're related as husband and wife, but, but uh, this is disturbing. Although, technically, if you accept the uh, single origin theory of humanity, we are all related to each other. Uh, related to family means, okay, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go that way with it. Not related to family means, okay. That's right, because her mother is still the same person I pissed off yesterday. But you know what? Adopted niece and uncle, I can go for that. Except I can't go for that here because I said I wouldn't. Um, oh. But I am allowed to go very close to it. So, tuck Naomi into bed, and then, this is nice, go to sleep on the couch myself. Look, wonderful uncle here, not having sex with his adopted niece. Who's also his girlfriend, who I did kiss intimately, but didn't go. You talk to me and go to sleep on the couch yourself. The next day you find out that I am not related to any family in the house either. This makes you sad. Unfortunately, this is the, um, this is the pronoun issue that this game has. Okay, Whew. dodged a bullet there. Um, see, that's, that's really the problem with trying to find a girlfriend at a family wedding. Because half of those people are related to you. Um, so I can't call my sister because she's this, they're on their honeymoon now. Um, can't do anything with my... Oh, you know what? Let's see, what can I do? Okay, let's, let's creep this out a bit. Um, drop Naomi off at school. It's going to be a college because it, she's not that young, because that would be creepy in two different ways. But where else are you supposed to pick up chicks? <laughs> That's a good point. And am I still streaming all this? I never turned off the stream, did I? Um, and then talk to my Twitch stream viewers again. This is a freaking long... This is like a freaking long stream. Okay, she's going to college. She's not a high school girl. I, I, I've cleaned it up a little bit. After dropping the enemy off at college, you decide that you should talk with your Twitch stream viewers again. After all, it was nice talking with them yesterday, right? It was. It was nice talking with them yesterday. Um, ask my Twitch stream viewers... <laughs> you know, instead of me kissing my niece, what would you like to see? I guess Woody Allen did it, so... For all of its faults, the game does quite a decent job of building up scenes in the story, though. It does, it does have that nice... It writes fairly well. Um, you decide that you should talk with my Twitch streamers again. After I was talking yesterday... Okay, we just said that. Hey, what do you homies want to see me stream? Word. Oh, I should have said word in there, too. After saying that, you get a bunch of different responses from the Twitch set. Some people want you to play some games, other people want you to play some songs, and some people want you to play some games, some people want you to play a game or two with them, etc. Well, that's... Yeah. <laughs> Woody Allen is the standard for these things. Okay. Um, so that wasn't really very helpful. Um... I'm, I'm going to pull, I'm going to just, oh, I think I spelled it wrong, but hopefully it knows what I'm talking about. And if it's not real in this. After playing Scribblio, you get a bunch of different responses from the Twitch chat. Some people want you to play some games, some, okay. Um, okay. Um, 
this this okay. Well, you know, I introduced Emmet to my to the stream. Introduce and it's now clear she's my niece. Uh, Naomi to the stream. Oh yeah, you're right, I should do that. In in the fake stream. Introduce my niece Naomi to the stream, but let's see what how they react to Naomi. This this could be so bad. After introducing Naomi, the rest of the chat go oh, go silent. They don't know what's going on. They're just watching the streamer and her niece. My, I'm not. A, I was a he yesterday. It's a pretty cool moment for everyone involved. So I stunned them with my niece. Um. Wow. This I've. Tr wow. Well, you know. Okay. Turn on song requests in my Twitch chat and ask Naomi to talk to my viewers. Please don't tell them about last night. <sighs> Turn on song request in your Twitch chat and ask Naomi to talk to your followers. This causes a lot of reactions from the Twitch chat. See, this is like, um... Listen to what Naomi is saying and how the Twitch viewers are responding. Yeah, no, they don't tell you. That's kind of the thing. They just say adjectives, but they don't give you the actual words. And they was talking about how the Twitch chat is reacting, and she wants you guys to respond in kind. She starts by asking if anyone wants a game of Tetris, and everyone says no, but she says that she'll make it happen for everyone if you guys will just respond in kind. Damn it, Naomi, stop ruining my stream with Tetris. Bitch. <laughs> um, challenge Naomi to a game of... What's the opposite of single player, not double player? Two player. Uh, Mario Kart on stream. If we're going to play something, we're going to play something interesting. I'm hoping that it's okay with me capitalizing and not... Naomi's asking if we want to play the game of Tetris, and the response is no, but she... Oh, it'll happen for everyone if the guy says, let us respond in kind. All right, Naomi's kind of fixated on Twitch. Um, uh, take Naomi downstairs. This is apparently the basement where I keep my where I keep my sister's children. Turn on the TV so she can watch cartoons. So this is what I have to do with Emmett, because he was, he was just saying hi on the stream. Um, and this was Megalobite's suggestion. So apparently I've got a... I hopefully I'm in like a secret room with like corpses in it or something. You take Naomi downstairs and turn on the TV so Naomi can watch cartoons. This causes a lot of reactions from the Twitch chat. Naomi, oh wow, I didn't expect that, I'm so happy. You, yeah, I'm happy too. I don't know how old... I, I mean, she, I took her to college, so she's got to be 18 at least. I mean... Um... Oh, I can ask her how old she is now. Oh, I see, because she's watching cartoons, like Emmett was. Um... I don't know, maybe they're adult... Nope, didn't say that. Maybe it's Adult Swim. That's, this has no good answer. Because any number she gives me is... This, this just has no good answer. Please, please, please don't make me look like a pedophile. Yes, and she responds, I'm 21! Yes! This causes a lot of reaction. <laughs> damn it. This causes a lot of reactions from the Twitch chat. Oh, yeah. Wow, I never thought I'd hear that age before, but yeah, it's true. <sighs> exactly. It's like the... The youngest drinking age. Oh, wow. Okay. What do I tell the... Okay. Tell the Twitch chat that Naomi is my niece and that I do not want people to think of her in that way. Let's see how, let's see how that goes over with the Twitch chat. Oh, so I said tell the Twitch that. Oh, no, yeah, that's fine. Tell the You tell the Twitch that you do indeed like the idea... 
Oh, you do indeed like the idea of your niece being thought of as your niece, but you also ha do wish for the Twitch to think about her in a more positive light as well. The reaction is mixed, but most agree with you. I'm going to take that as a win. I didn't say more positive light, but uh, that's good. That's good. Okay, that's good. Um, I need to stop focusing on my freaking niece. Um, show some funny YouTube videos to amuse the plebes. I swear to God, if I wasn't streaming this, I would be in Naomi's pants. You show some funny YouTube videos to amuse the plebs. It changed plebs to plebs, which causes a lot of reaction on the Twitch chat. Naomi, I never thought I'd see something like that before. Yeah, but yeah, it's pretty funny. Yeah, it's pretty... F so Naomi is apparently just, like, stuck to me now. She's not going to go away. Um, Alright, so what are we doing? Oh, you know what? I'm going to go halfway creepy on this. I don't know what TikTok is. Is he? A, he's. I know that he's a mechanical man from one of the Wizard of Oz books, but I'm pretty sure that's not what you mean. Um, uh, let's see. Take the stream mobile and take Naomi to lunch at the pizza. Let's let's do a callback to the pizza parlor. I went to the alien. Went with an alien to the pizza parlor earlier in the stream. Um, you take the stream mobile back to your room and go back to your room where you bring Naomi to lunch at the pizza parlor. The reaction to this action is causing a lot of reactions from Trish, but most agree with you. Okay. The sort of, Naomi is the alien. Ooh. She is actually an alien that would be so much better than than what's going on right now. Yeah, I don't know how that... The Pizza Hall was actually the name of a place in this game earlier. If she was actually an alien... That's good, good, Nickelbody, I like that. You asked me if you, if you are actually an alien disguised as my niece, and the response you get back are a bit strange. She says, well, yes, but not really. This causes a few laughs, then you reply, well, not really. Well, what did you mean? Uh, yes, she must be. Ask Naomi what planet she is from. Okay. She sort of gave it away. Yeah, it does actually. <laughs> sort of, not really. Her planet is, and the response you get back are a bit strange. She says, I don't know. I've never been there. Oh. This is effing creepy now. So... Obviously, she means that her people are from a certain planet, and she... I'm going to go into tech, into voice. What about Naomi? What is your purpose here on Earth, Naomi? You say, what are, what are you doing here? What purpose does your being here serve? What are you trying to accomplish? This causes a few laughs, and you reply with another question. My name is, well... I don't know. Yeah, this is, she's being a little bit, uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit shady there, Naomi. Okay, what are we going to do? We're going to have to smack her around a little bit? We can't smack her around. Um, do you plan to harm Earth or any of the people living here, including the viewers in my Twitch stream. This this could be really creepy. So we have uh, what about Naomi? By the way, it was an expression from the Electric Company. You are way way too young to remember it. Undefined. Okay, this might be a glitch. Um, insist that Naomi answer my questions. If you hit return by itself, it says your input is undefined. Um, yeah, undefined. Oh, like it's an AI itself. Oh, what if Naomi is an AI in inside of this AI? You insist on Naomi that you are watching the Twitch chat and your niece's actions. Ooh, 
If you see anything wrong with them, if you see anything wrong with the ch Twitch chat in general, if you see anything wrong with the pizza parlor in general. So I'm giving Naomi this warning that I'll be watching you. Um, yeah, but undefined would be like if Naomi was an AI inside of this AI. Um, and she basically failed. She didn't actually, uh, she didn't know how to respond to my comments. So maybe we better ask Naomi if she's... <laughs> Are you a form? So, oh, when I asked her, she was an alien. She said, "Sort of, right?" She didn't. See, so, she kind of fudged on that one. Artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence. Oh, we're we're finding out stuff about Naomi that that is very very bad. Okay. And I think Emma might be a form of artificial intelligence, and she's just playing dumb. You demand to know if Na Naomi is a form of artificial intelligence. She replies that she isn't. She says that she is a human who has been programmed to be an AI. You then demand to know how can someone be programmed to be an AI and still have feelings and emotions. It's like crap. She <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> ah! I'm a human playing an AI game, meeting a human who is programmed to be an AI. The actual fuck. <laughs> the program. <laughs> how? And this is exactly what I would demand too. I was like, how can you have feelings and emotions? This is freaking insane. Um. Wait for Naomi to answer. Yeah, talk to me, Naomi. What's going on with you here? I'm scared. Naomi continues to oh, refuse to answer your question. Eventually, you decide best for her to answer your question, so you wait for her to respond. And eventually, she does in the form of a question. God. She doesn't tell me what the question. I'm assuming the question is, how do you have feet? Have Did we have this discussion on Megalobyte's <laughs> channel yesterday? I hope not. I know I had it with someone, but I don't think it was on Megalobyte's channel about how we know whether it, how we know that if a neural net could simulate um, a person okay do you think I should threaten to turn her in well oh, well she says, says she's a person though so that wouldn't help to save humanity from aliens and AI Maybe we could trick her like Captain Kirk's always tricking those robots into destroying themselves. What should I ask next? What should I next in order for humanity and myself and all the people watching the channel on Twitch and the world at large and all the creatures that live on this planet, my God, and all the creatures that live in the universe and all of life itself to survive? That's literally what I was going to ask her. Um wait for Naomi to answer again. I, d I get the feeling she's, she's going to be evasive. No pressure, but you're pretty much saving... I know, I know. Because we saw those explosions earlier. Naomi can... Oh! 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 Naomi can just refuse to answer your questions. Eventually decide it's best for her to answer your questions. So you wait for her to respond, and eventually she does so. The next day... What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Again, I am technically not going erotic on this one. Check Naomi for any buttons, switches, or other forms of control that could be used to turn her off or reprogram her. See, I'm still trying to save humanity. Not dirty. Oh, I, I misspelled reprogram, but what if it'll get that? You check Naomi's body, but you find nothing. The only thing you find is a small hole in the middle of the back of her body. A hole big enough for a small robot like yourself. As you continue the search, you notice something else odd about this body. Holy... <laughs> this is exact... Op you're turning her off. I, that's true. That's true. 
Okay, I'm sorry. Nothing. Except a small hole in the middle of the back of her body. That's not nothing. A hole big enough for a small robot. Apparently I'm now a small robot. Like yourself. Uh, what else? Okay, hang on. Um, uh, I feel dirty. Um, check Naomi's body. This is not going to go well. Yeah, there's just a small hole that'll form, you know, hold a robot. That's normal. That this, I, no, this is bad. You continue your search, but you notice something else odd about this body. It seems as if it is made of a strange metal, but it is not the same metal as the rest of the armor on this body. It is a different metal altogether, metallic silver. So apparently the rest of Naomi is made out of metal. Well, so at least we know she's not human, so this is this is good. Or maybe she's human like Metallo, and she has an outer covering. Uh, confirmed robot. Well, yes, unless... I mean, there are, there are heroes, I don't know if any Marvel heroes, but that are human, but then they're covered with a metallic sheath. Uh, just like Wolverine has those adamantium claws. See, this is just going to get dirty now, but... Um, Remove metal covering from Naomi's body. I'm not even trying. Let's see what she is under. But uh, I hope she's wearing clothes under this body. You remove the metallic silver covering from the back of Naomi's armor, revealing the back. Oh! See, I told you. Oh. This is bad. Just, I knew this was going to happen. Uh, revealing the back of this woman's naked chest, which has been, but she's covered with a strange silver colored material, which you now realize is some sort of cybernetic implant or cybernetic enhancement or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so she is a, she is, she is, a, she's, a, she's an android. Uh, nice. There's a song about that. I built a friend out of... Da, 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 da. She's going to melt like the Wicked Witch of the West. See, because I was... Okay, yeah, because if this was an erotic stream, I could go further, but no. Short out of her circuits and effectively kill her. I don't want to kill my niece that I had made out with yesterday. Except she's not my niece, she's a metal robot thing. You spray water on the back of Naomi, but it doesn't seem to do any th good. She keeps on moving, but at this point you are starting to get concerned about what you have found. Duh! Then you hear a loud noise like a gunshot, followed by a very long scream. They're coming for me! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Yep, they found out that I've, I've messed with Naomi. Uh... What do you think? Yeah, I know. Exactly. That's what I think's going on. Um, oh, man. Uh, tell Naomi to answer... Well, they haven't knocked on the door, have they? They're just, they just shot something. To find... the source of the gunshot noise. And the scream. Well, I, that, no one talks like that, though. Tell me to find the source of the gunshot and the screen. I know it did, didn't it? But I mean, you know, what what else are you gonna get when you open up a metal robot? I mean, clearly I've I've done, you know, I've clearly exposed her, and this explains all of her. You tell me that you are going outside in order to see what caused the noise and the scream. No, I didn't say that. As you're walking inside, there's a group of people running away from the area where you saw. Oh man. I mean, the hell? And see, I don't want to run towards that area because I mean that—that's just suicide. Uh, um, push Naomi into the area where the gunshot and scream were. This is not going to go well for me. Oh, yeah, you're right. I could help the victim. I should probably have done that. We'll do that in a minute. 
You push an enemy into an area where you think you heard a gunshot and a very long scream. When you arrive at your location, you see that there is no one around. In fact, there are several people standing around talking in an area that is completely empty. How can there be no one around? In I guess there's like a little gap there. Demand that Naomi tell me what you know about this gunshot and this scream and everything that has happened today in the last few days. There we go. That's a damn. You better do this, Naomi. Or I'll put your metal back on. I don't know what the hell I can do. If water didn't kill you. The welding torch. Naomi tells you that she doesn't know anything about it. She says she was just cleaning up when she heard some noise. She then hears someone screaming. Then she sees another person running away from her from here. Then suddenly there's another loud explosion followed by more screaming. Then there's silence again. I'm going to assume that's all Naomi talking in the past tense. Yeah. Threaten Naomi with a welding torch. Where, I don't know where I got a welding torch, but I want to speed this up a little bit. So, uh... So, if, if the water didn't work for you, I'm going to melt your metal off. I'm only threatening her. I'm not necessarily going to do it. You threaten Naomi with a welding torch, but she refuses to talk to you and runs off into the woods, leaving behind your weapon. Fuck. <gasps> That's it! Naomi is Nightbot! And if I kill her, I will kill the stream in which I am killing Nightbot. That is so surreal. Okay. So, this is a pretty fucked up world here. Um... Oh, I'm still streaming, aren't I? And you know, the funny thing is because I'm still streaming, the people who are watching me stream might think this is all an act. This is not real. So it's like a, a fiction for them inside the stream that is inside of a fiction for me. I think we're really destined, nested. Okay. Well, Twitch streamers, you tell me, and you guys tell me what you, I should do next. Not Twitch streamers, I meant chatters. But let's see if it understands that. As you are pondering your next move, you hear some sort of shouting and yelling coming from somewhere in the woods. And then a few moments later, several gunshots ring out. What was that? Whoa, what did I do? I don't know. Oh, God damn it, I even killed someone. Run to the woods, to words the... Why am I doing this? The sound of the gunshots. Why? Why am I doing this? Why am I running to words gunshots? It might be. It might be World War III. As you run to the sound of the gunfire, you suddenly feel yourself being grabbed and pulled towards one of those shooting targets. You don't understand why, but as soon as you feel your hands being grabbed, you feel like your mind goes blank, and everything goes black. Fuck. That's like how, uh, um... Oh, what's the name of the guy? Tony, uh... Tony... What's the name of the guy who, um... Uh, the mob... The mob show where... The screen just goes black at the end. But it's very much like that. Um, carefully and slowly open my eyes. I mean, if I'm dead, I can't do... Th well, actually, if I'm dead, they will be open, but... Um, let's see what happens. You know, let's chill. Uh... You slowly open your eyes to find yourself in a room with a lot of windows. There's also a door on your right side. The room itself is lit by several torches placed all over it, but they aren't aimed at you. Well, good. So someone has abducted me to put me in this room with a lot of windows. Look for other... Uh, hopefully I'm not... Uh, am I, I'm not bound, am I? No. Look for other people in the room. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to free you people if there are any people to free. You look around the room for other people, but there isn't anyone else in it, so you go back to looking for the torches that are aimed at... Now they're aimed at me! Eventually, after looking through them for a while, you notice that they aren't aimed at you, any of them either. Okay...
Lots of windows. I'm going to just door on my right side. I'm going to I'm going to let it go. You got to let it go. Let's just walk out of this freaking what appears to be a church, I think. You walk through the door on your right side, which leads to a hallway with a lot of doors on both sides. There's also a staircase on the left side of the hallway, which leads up to a second floor. Well, gotta take the staircase. I wanna see what the hell's around me. Um, use the well, take the staircase. Let's see if you can understand that. Come on. You take the stairs up to the second floor and you find yourself in a large living area with furniture and a TV screen on the wall. On the TV screen you see a news report about some sort of terrorist attack taking place in the city of New York. Okay, I think Naomi escaped from me. Um, I know, tragedy has indeed, has indeed occurred. Um, I'm going to seem callous by not doing anything about this terrorist attack. Excuse me. I'm going to look through the window at the outside. I'm supposed to be in Albuquerque. That's where I started out. And I don't think I've traveled too far. Although, who knows? Because it has something to do with the alien... Oh, yeah, I think, it, I think it's Naomi. I think Naomi went to New York well, after she ran off from me. You look out the window and see that it's dark outside, so you decide to go back to your room and get some sleep. Yeah, all right. Hmm. I, can I call Naomi? I don't. I mean, no one said I couldn't. Okay, um, this is. I'm going to be a little bit shady here, and ask if. And ask if she, is was safe during the well is safe. After the terrorist attack, in New York. So this is actually my way of confirming that she wasn't part of it. After you call Naomi to let her know that you are safe, no, and, and you fall asleep. In fact, you don't even think about it anymore. Uh, yeah, exactly, dumbass Naomi. Although, we did learn she is an AI, so maybe she's having the same problem as the AI dungeon is having. That's just so freaky. I don't even think about it anymore? I'm not a boyfriend! I, I'm her uncle! I'm her uncle, okay? I didn't touch her after I learned that she was my niece. Um... Uh, although I guess she was my girlfriend briefly, but this is just too creepy. Um, you're her uncle and her boyfriend. Well, I mean, my sister married my brother, so, you know, uh, crazy. Ah, uh, no, I didn't. I tucked her in and slept on the couch. It's very careful not to sleep with her. Um, I, uh, and, why? Call my sister and my brother, David, who are now married, by the way, and ask them if they were safe during the terrorist attack. Uh, well, after the terrorist attack. I don't think they're honeymooning in attack. I don't think they're hon honeymooning in New York, so... Um, so this shouldn't be an issue for them. After you call my... Well, no, 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 you fall asleep. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so I didn't like that. Um, alright, so what am I going to do next? Ask Twitch viewers what they think about the terrorist attack. Because I'm still streaming, baby. I'm going to stream this whole thing. And they apparently are thinking about it. After you... <sighs> Okay, it's stuck, so I'm going to have to go somewhere else with this. Um, take the stream mobile again and go to the groceries. I don't know why I'm going to the grocery. I have groceries delivered in real life. Um, just to get out of the house for a bit. So that's my reasoning. Let's see what this happens.
And Miglo, you mentioned earlier it's got good diction. It actually uses pairs of words that, you know, the most common pairs of words that come after each other to build some of this. Oh. Am I going to fly to New York for I'm going to fly to New York for this, apparently. If this still doesn't work, we might be stuck. If I take a very different action, it's you fly to New York City and find out what is going on with your family. After a few hours of flying around, what the hell, and talking with your family, it turns out that your sister has been kidnapped by terrorists. She's being <laughs> held in an under <laughs> damn it, in an underground bunker in a city called Terra Dome. God damn it. What the hell? Oh, man. Oh. Uh, you kind of have to save her, don't you? I mean, you can't just sort of walk away from this. Fly with my family to Terradome to rescue my sister from the terrorist kidnappers. Well, you know, if I flew from Albuquerque to New York, I can fly to frickin' Italy. Plus, I could probably get good pizza there. Because the Pizza Palace, I don't think I ever managed to get it. I got a pepperoni pizza, like, on the first day, but that was it. You fly with your family to the where your sister is being held captive by terrorist terrorists. After getting there, your sister tells them that she knows who they are, but she doesn't want any trouble because she's very scared of them. Good thing to be telling the terrorists. Um, so should we rescue her first, or should we eat pizza? I guess we should rescue her first. Um, find my sister and rescue her, and then the whole family goes out for authentic Italian pizza, because we're in Italy now. I know, it's like, terrorist terrorists. Oh, actually, that could be. But, I mean, then why is it kidnapping my sister? Although she is, she does, she did marry her brother and my brother, so maybe. You find your sister in the basement of the house, but the terrorists have already taken control of the house. They have turned off all the lights, closed all the doors, locked everyone inside, cut, well, great, cut off all the phone lines, and are holding everyone hostage. Well, well, isn't that just typical? Um, that was a great rescue attempt. So they basically use her as bait to get the rest of us hostage. That's not cool, man. Very nice. Yeah, it is very nice. Very professional, these terrorists. They kind of just saw that coming. Okay, let's go crazy. If we can have real, authentic Italian pizza while being held hostage. Because, you know, I came here for two reasons, and maybe the second one, they can still give it to us see what the terrorists have to say about that. The terrorists tell you that they will give you authentic Italian pizza, but only if you release the rest of the hostage. What? They also tell you to free the rest of the hostages yourself. You refuse and say that this is not a negotiation. They're not my hostages! Uh... God damn it. Uh, well, I guess I'm going to release the hostages. I don't know how they became my hostages. And why are the terrorists asking for the release of hostages? You guys, you guys are like, really, oh, maybe they are terrorist terrorists. Maybe they think I'm a terrorist. You release the other hostages and your family goes out for authentic Italian pizza. Your mother was so happy to be home after, I guess she was born in Italy, after a long time away, and so was your father, who was so worried when he got back from work. Yay, we're, I'm Italian, apparently. We're back in the native land of Italy. Um, okay, well, so those terrorist terrorists were trying to save us. We're trying to save someone, the world. Uh, so apparently the, I was the terrorist who had... They are, this is freaking weird. Um, so I guess is Naomi... Such a beautiful way for such a scary... It is, isn't it? It's like... <laughs> da -da, now the pizza feast! Da -da 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 -da. Um, but the whole family... Well, okay, so if I went to Italy with my other family, I guess I'm going to visit my, like, ancestors who don't live in the United States. Um, 
But first, check the news to see if there are still any terrorist threats in the world. Miglabyte, thank you for sticking on for like... Uh, it's been quite a bit of time since you said you had to go, so I'm glad that I'm totally distracting you. All right, maybe we've cured all the, maybe that somehow doing that cured all the terrorist threats. You check the news and see that there have been no more terrorist threats in the world. But you notice that it says terrorist attacks in the headline on most of them. It seems like terrorism has become a common thing now, but you can't shake this feeling of unease. Technically, that sentence makes sense. The terrorists have stopped threatening people, now they just go out and attack people. But I feel like I can relax if there's no more terrorist threats. Um, and you're pretty much exactly like real life, yeah. They don't want to threaten for a, for a, you know, to get something. Okay. Alright. I feel like I should do something about this. Form. The day that we accept this kind of a terror is the day the terrorists win. Yeah. I can't even tell if you're being serious or not. I mean, that's an expression people use. Um... Okay. I, I want to, okay, form a band of unlikely heroes with my family uh, and wipe out the terrorists on Earth. Because I can do that. And they're unlikely heroes. They're not superheroes because I don't, haven't figured out how to get superpowers yet. But my family's with me, we have pizza, we can do anything. Your father, mother, brother, and me decide to form a band of unlikely heroes to wipe out all of the, these terrorists, terrorists. No. We call ourselves the family band, and we play a lot more than just music. The hell? No, no. We're, we're, a, band, we're a band of heroes. We're not a... They, I apparently I confused them. They think we're a band of bands. <laughs> How are we going to stop out the terrorist threat with a band? Ah, we're the Partridge family. No, we're the family band. Maybe we're like a stealth band. Play music for terrorists and using our special secret musical skills, kill them uh, as they listen. So maybe we can hypnotize them. Let's see if we can do this now. It's the hip... It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's the Partridge family. We're the hippie family. Hey, man, we're just... We're just bands. We're just going to play some music for you terrorists, so, you know. <laughs> Manson did it. After a few months, you begin to feel a little tired. Your brother David, who is also a musician, and who married my sister, by the way, tells you that he should take over as leader of the family band. Oh. He says he can do it better than you can. Well, well, well. Uh. What do you think, guys? I mean... You know, we've been, it's been a few months. I, I guess, I don't know if we've killed any terrorists, but if we haven't, he's absolutely right, because we're clearly not doing this correctly. Let David take over the band. Um, so I guess Naomi was never really our sister. No, who, who did David marry? Did she have a name? Because she's his and my sister. Uh, let David take over the band and kill even more terrorists, because you seem to be missing that point, AI until the world is totally free of all threats everywhere. And I like the way the game won't quite let me do stuff like this. It's like, well, you know, we, we, we're going to give you a part of it, but we're not going to let you cure, we're not going to let you free the world. It's, you got, you got to take the good with the bad. Okay. All right, David takes over as leader, but you don't like it. David has a lot of bad habits, like smoking cigarettes, drinking alcohol, playing loud music at inappropriate times, and many other bad habits. David's bad habits get worse as time passes. <coughs> well, well, well. <coughs> Excuse me. And by the way, Migla, uh, Migla um, I did go to the corner to cough, but I'm wearing headphones, so you can still hear it. Get David, no, I don't know if I want to get him into family therapy. I mean, he's kind of, he's kind of, um, I mean, he, he's into incest, he married my sister, he married his sister. Um, I think maybe it's, um, it's time to get rid of David. Tell David that he is no longer a member of the family. 
and must seek his own fortune elsewhere. And at some point, I'm going to marry his wife. Yeah, I, I, it's going to take too much time. And, you know, and uh, let's just get rid of this bum. All right, David, get out. You tell David to leave the family band and go live on his own life. Yeah. He doesn't listen to you. He continues to smoke cigarettes, drink alcohol, play loud music at inappropriate times, and many other bad habits. Okay. Well, I'm going to make a play for my sister now. Talk to David's wife and see if she can help cure David of his bad habits or... Yeah, let's make this complicated. Or divorce him so we can... No, no. We're just going to stop there. I'm not going to say why, why we're going to divorce him. All right. Let's see. Always talk to the wife. So, you know, you talk to David's wife about curing him, but she tells you that she is not a doctor. She says that he needs to find someone who can help him with his problems. She tells you to go talk to her husband in his study in the basement. Okay. Your husband is David, dumbass. All right, now I really do have to go because it's time to get cooking. The stream was a hilarious watch, beautiful world building. Thank you again for watching Mingle Bite and for staying longer than you had planned to. And actually, to be honest, and take care. Oh, yes. Thank you for Amazon on Prime. Thank you. And actually, it, I've been streaming for almost two hours now. So I'm going to give this a couple more minutes and I'm going to quit. I don't know if I'll keep this because I'm playing this game in a web browser. If I close this tab, th nothing is saved. Uh, but I could keep this going in this web browser for arbitrary amount of time. Or next time I could take your suggestions and we could choose a more normal adventure, although it would be hard to find one that's less normal than this. Okay. Um, ask the Twitch viewers what I should do about David's interference. That's not a question. That's not done with a question mark. Um, oh my god! I have more people in chat than I've ever had before. So, hello to all of you. Um, you ask the Twitch viewers what you do about David, but they don't know anything about it. They just say that you should try to get rid of him by any means possible, but they don't know how to do it. It's a very dark set of Twitch streamers. Um, but I mean, they're right. That's actually what I need to do. Um... Yeah, I mean, and they same idea. They're basically echoing my thoughts, which is because this is an AI. Okay. Abandon David at a gig, and go into well. We can't go into hiding because we're a band. And go play other gigs without him. Yeah. See how you like that, David? Up yours. You abandon David at a gig you are playing, you go to play another gig without him. You realize that you have to get rid of David somehow, but you have no idea how to do it. Well, we kind of did it. Um, okay. Keep touring around the world, playing our music, and killing... That's, there's no comma there. And killing terrorists, never telling... David where we are so he can't follow us. Yeah, how do you like them apples, David? It's a, mu it's a complex sentence. You keep trying around the world playing their music and killing terrorists. Eventually you are in the middle of Europe when you hear the news on the radio that there is an attack on your hometown. The attack is successful and you were killed in your own home by your own son. You died game over. What the hell? I was in Europe. Oh, but that's right. I'm from Italy. I forgot. Um, okay. That's a very... Su I think, though, shrug off death and wake up. I think you can recover from this. But I could be wrong. I know you can in the Android version. I, this would be an excellent time to die, because you shrug off death and wake up in your bed. 
You have no idea where you are or how you got there, but you feel very happy for the first time in years. Ha! I have defeated death. I wonder if I filmed my death and resurrection, apparently. Or I don't know if the stream gets turned off in hell. I don't know if they allow if they allow twitching there. Happy because I came back, I think. Not because I died. But it must have been a very refreshing kind of sleep. You check to see if I am still streaming, but I am not streaming anymore. So it seems that I have died of natural causes. Oh, great. I'm a zombie. Check to see if I am a zombie. Because you know what? I am. Because I rose from the dead. Well, this is freaking weird. You check to see if I'm a zombie, but I'm not a zombie. So it seems that I have died of natural causes. Okay, so apparently it still thinks I'm dead. Um. Oh, start Twitch streaming again. and apologize to viewers for having died on stream. Because, you know, that, that's a little bit creepy. Let's see what they have to say about that. After a few hours of stream, you realize that you were wrong. I was indeed a zombie, and I was alive again. This is very confusing for me, as well as the rest of the people watching me. Yeah, I kind of figured I was a zombie. I mean, how else do you wake up from the dead? Okay, um, let's go super creepy here. Ask Twitch followers and viewers to send me pictures of their brains. This is, and, and I hope most people will realize they're just going to send pictures of their skulls. But if someone wants to actually open up their head and send me pictures of their brains, I'm down with it, because I'm a zombie. It's like food. After a few hours of streaming, you realize I was wrong. I was indeed a zombie, and I was alive again. This is a very confusing for me, and all. Okay. Okay, it's gotten stuck on that. Um, I'm just going to eat breakfast, you know? I'm, very, I'm not even going to say what I'm going to eat for breakfast. I'm hoping it's going to let me eat something other than brains. But I am a zombie, so I, I wonder what I'll eat for breakfast. After ah. Okay, um Okay, I'm gonna try doing a, a scene cut here. Put a fly back to Albuquerque. Um but if it says that again then we it really is stuck. Uh but usually if you do a big enough scene change it'll 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 Oh you realize that I was wrong, I am a zombie and Oh, hang on. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, I, I should still be streaming. I still should be going according to my little OBS thing. Um, fuck. Hang on. Is this better? Am I back? Have I returned to the world of the living? And if you can't hear me, that doesn't help at all. Okay. I didn't change anything. Like, literally nothing. Um... Oh, thank you. Okay, great. I have no idea what the hell that was, but it got better now. Unfortunately, it looks like uh, this... Uh, look, let's see if I can die again. But I'm pretty sure now this, is, this, this game has been played out. Uh, and, and the AI is, is not going to let me get out of this loop. Maybe unless I die again. Who knows? You die. You died. Game over. Wake. Oh, oh wait. Okay, it's back. Keep me updated. 
Although I'm going to end the stream in a minute. Wait, you wake up in your bed with your head in your hands and you are confused about what just happened to you. Uh, and actually, even if it wasn't for the sound, I, n I need to actually go live what I prefer to as my life. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. I really very deeply appreciate it. Uh, and of course I appreciate Miglobite the most for, uh, well no, I appreciate you all almost equally. Miglobite the most for, uh, you know, bringing all these people here. Um, could not have done this without you. I think this is a big step in my road. I don't even want to be an affiliate, but it's a big step in my road to be an affiliate. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. And um, I may stream games again later sometime. Thank you. Thank you for the Amazon Prime. Thank you, thank you for the Amazon Prime for saying that I'm very nice. Um, so we will hopefully, uh, my next stream will probably be not about this, um, though it might be. So thank you again for watching me, and have a pleasant rest of your day.